Another very important concept that we have to understand is the concept of RESTful web service. Now there is really two parts to this. There is the REST or RESTful and then there is the web service. Now REST is really an acronym for representational state transfer. Now you can think of this just as an architecture that your application can follow. They have certain rules that you have to follow if you want your application or your web service to implement this RESTful or to be RESTful and then implement this architecture. Now the second part to this, which is the web service, is that if your web service implements this RESTful architecture, then your web service becomes a RESTful web service. Now, as you can see, most APIs or application programming interface, which is what the front end applications usually use, they're using this RESTful or representational state transfer architecture so that they can create their application. So we can talk a lot more about REST itself or RESTful web service. But what I really want you to understand is that once we have our front end application and we're making HTTP requests, we're making HTTP requests to web services. And those web services, most of them, they're using this REST standard or they're implementing this representational state transfer architecture. And this is really the de facto standard for building web services nowadays. Maybe something else is gonna come and uh, we don't know. But for right now, that's the most powerful and the most lightweight, scalable, maintainable way for building these web services that we want to interact with other web services on the internet. So that's why our Angular application or any friend application, they can make an HTTP request to those applications and then get data from them because they're using this representational state transfer architecture um, that is a very, again, highly scalable, maintainable, and it's very commonly used for API or web-based application. So earlier I mentioned that we're gonna be using HTTP to make calls to web servers, and those servers, they use this RESTful web service or this RESTful architecture. So maybe this doesn't make a lot of sense right now, but I'm gonna show you how this RESTful web services. I'm going to show you how it connects to HTTP call that our Angular application will be making.